guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and it is Saturday morning. So, I didn't uh, really do anything yesterday, um, video-wise, but I worked two jobs yesterday, and that was a pain in the ass. And now my back hurts so bad today that I can barely move, so. <laughs> and I have another moving job today, so let's see what happens. I'm not moving anything heavy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> My body will not do it. Right now I have a lidocaine patch on my back. That's so bad, it hurts. If I have to do that, I know I'm in pain. Like it's sharp pain where I can't, oh, I can't, it hurts to fucking move. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. And I need to stop sleeping on the floor because that is not helping. Last night I was really tossing and turning because my back hurts so bad. Back, hips, you name it, it fucking hurt. <laughs> so, jading. Hurry up and get that stupid room to get back together. <laughs> Everything is everywhere. So today we have to go help my um, massage therapist do some moving. And then go back home. But by that time it will probably be too late. Time to settle in and all that stuff. So I will start my room first thing tomorrow. And I am not leaving until it's freaking done. <laughs> I didn't want to clean the rest of the house too, you know. <laughs> so, I don't want to buy any more bins until I know I need them. So, I'm trying to do that. And, um, Joe is trying to see what I have to work with first to start with. So, then go from there. So, I'm trying to consolidate, which would be helpful. And then I'm trying to, um, I don't know if there's anything I'd be getting rid of in my room, but just consolidate and clean and organize and know where everything is and I need some um I need some um more room for some clothes and Jaden loves to buy clothes all the time so we have to make sure he has room for that so I'm gonna hang up some stuff in my thing and then in the back and you know on the other side I might hang some baby stuff not even sure yet really what I'm gonna do there but um, I did tell Chris, let's go ahead and make two more shelves in the back. So one will be a double, and then one will be a single. And then if we want to change that into a double, we can. So, um, But this way, one shelf will be going right to the wall. Front, you know, it will be the whole entire like little corner, and then the other one will be half of the corner. So we will see. But we have a piece of wood that we can utilize, so I might as well utilize it. It's in my way right now. <laughs> so... And I know there's some other wood pieces, so I should talk to him about those as well. <laughs> um, that's really it. I, I wanted to do the um, the thing behind the, the, the you know, t to put the shoes behind the... Um, to put the shoes behind the, the clothes, but I don't know, I mean... I, I don't know if I'm better off just putting my, my, my shoes in bins for now. Um, I wouldn't have enough room behind the clothes, um, uh, where he put the, the pipe, um, because you have to have so much room for your clothes to fit, so that's why. So, I don't know whether or not to, um, you may be possibly make it on the other side, and then have a shoe thing there for me and then or just put all my shoes in a bin and then that way in the closet where my shoes are I could be um building shelving in there you know for other stuff so I think I might put my shoes in bins possibly I'm not quite sure I don't know quite sure yet exactly how I want to go about that because I do like to be able to see my shoes you know um, but where it is, it's, it's overflowing anyways, and to be honest with you, I mean, I could almost have a bin, or two bins with shoes, one could be like summertime, you know, or maybe one, you know, maybe a couple of different bins, one's for dress shoes, one's for this shoes, one's for that shoes, and then, you know, you just have like four bins, four little bins with different types of shoes, I don't know. I have no idea yet. You know, you should have your waterproof shoes compared to your regular shoes. 
shoes, you know what I mean? And then your summer shoes compared to your, you know, and then you got your slippers and stuff like that. So, it's funny, I don't really wear slippers that much anymore, and I should. Um, you know, so I just feel like I can't really get to stuff. I can't really see what's there right now, and maybe if they were in sectional bins, maybe that would look better. I don't know. I'd have to get bins for that. I could get those five below, though. Um, you know, because then that way I can have, you know, like, let's say six shoes per container or something like that, you know. And then I could put two, one bin in the back, one bin in the front, one bin in the back, one bin in the front, and then I got a bunch of shoes in four bins that take up a lot less room, and then I can utilize stuff in that, in that spot. But listen, I'm at storage now, and I need my phone in order to turn, to, to open the gate. Because <laughs> I can open the gate like this. Ah, oh my, my back is killing me, guys. Please pray for me today. I have a, cor a, a lidocaine patch on, so we'll see what happens. Sorry, right, guys. We'll see you okay, in a little bit. So I wanted to just let you give you guys an update really quickly on what's going on. Man, how does Chris fucking sit like this? Oh, my, oh my God. So um, we're still at Karen's helping her out. So it looks like today's shot for me, but at least I can get everything that I need done here and be home. And then I'm not leaving for like two days. <laughs> That's all, Chris. That's it. I'm done. I'm not leaving anywhere. So, as soon as Chris is done finishing up doing what he's doing, we can go, and I need him to help me hurry up, but I won't rush him either, because he's nice enough to help me with this. So, I guess not much is going to get done today, <laughs> so I guess I'll put today and tomorrow's video together, because it looks like that's what's going to happen. So, after we go here, we're going to, after we're done here, we're going to go over to the dispensary and head home. So, um, my back hurts so Working bad. No more moving jobs. That's it. I can't do the moving jobs. Unless I, I was desperate. But, I mean, mom yelled at me about it today. She's like, oh, you hurt yourself on a job. I'm like, you know, when someone won't even lift a finger to even hold a door for you while we're holding something really heavy, like, that was just really utterly disrespectful so this guy yesterday i don't know if i already told you this but this guy yesterday at this job um um like hired us to do the job for him like no you didn't say that or else i wouldn't have gotten it for 20 dollars an hour so i never get paid for 20 dollars an hour so it was a thing on his part and i was really angry with him and if we weren't stuck in boston we would have left so but whatever. Anyways, can't wait to go home, guys. I want to go home. Let me go home, people. I want to go home. There's no place like home, guys. There's no place like home. Because I can't wait to get my freaking bed back. I can't wait to put all my stuff in its spot. We got new babies. We're going to get new baby baskets for their little clothes and stuff. And it's going to be so freaking cute looking forward to more baby time so once this gets done and once this gets organized we can go back to rooting and painting and all that other stuff so can't wait hurry up all right that's it bye guys see you later hey guys good morning it's jc's reborn journey here and i am starting so yesterday and today's video will be together but um it is sunday morning at 8 30 in the morning and i'm already ready to start so we are working on my bedroom this morning. So, there's a couple of things. See that major disaster right there? So, I don't know if there's some things there that are going to go in here, which I think there is. But I'm going to be um, getting a, um, a, not an ice chest, but a, a freezer. And I'm going to put it in that corner. I want to take apart that, um... That, uh, there's a, I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually a, um, piece of, um, furniture behind it. So we're going to use that furniture, take it apart, and actually make a hutch on top of it. So, I just woke up with a, not a dream, but just a thought. And that's my thought that I came up with. I'm like, oh my god, I could put it right there and I could do this, that, and the other thing. So, I designed it in my dreams, I guess. <laughs> so, now it's getting started in here. So, let's get to it. So, right now we're consolidating. I wanted to kind of put things together. 
This has got some blankets. It's got some towels. I want to see what else I could put in here. Um, so, there's a lot of stuff. Let's get to it. Hey, guys. So, I wanted to give you guys a quick update and show you I have my bed again. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I don't even think it's 11 o'clock yet. So, this is everything I've gotten done so far from 8.30 to 11 or whatever time it is. Let's go find out. Um, my back hurts so bad it hurts to walk. It is only 10.19. So, I also have a lot of stuff here that I want to figure out and go through and stuff like that. And there's some more stuff in here. Um, I haven't quite decided if the baby girl stuff is going to go in there or not. I'm just going to keep working. So, a lot of some of this stuff I want to go in there. I'm going to go through this stuff first. And see what's here because some of this stuff can go over there. And, you know, babies, that's, um, you know, if I have to downsize, if I have to do whatever. But we're going to clean this out as well today. So, I do want some of this over there. But if I can't and that has to stay under there, that's fine. But we are working. Working hard, guys. I want to get this done. I have other things I got to do. So, I'm going to continue. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you guys a quick update. Let's know how things are going. Put some stuff up there. I'm not quite sure yet if we're going to put shelving up here or not. I'm not sure yet, probably, because the kids' clothes are going to go right to here. I'm not going to hang too many things, just like the baby's dresses, maybe some dress clothes for the baby, stuff like that. Nothing like just regular clothing. Um, so I am probably going to do the shelving up there. Uh, I was trying to find a spot for this thing, but I think that's where it's going to go. And I don't want to do anything on that side because that side is going to be for my shoes. Because what I want to do is get this closet out over here. I'm getting everything out, guys. So, this is going to get gutted out, and then all your shoes are going to get figured out whether I like them or not. If I don't like them, getting rid of them, okay? If I do like them, if I'm going to wear them, then I'll keep them. So, I got to go through all the clothes, all the shoes, whatever I'm going to keep, I'm going to put, so I'll have one for my dress shoes, nice shoes, stuff that's waterproof will be in like one, stuff that's not waterproof and like sandals and stuff like that and slippers will go in like the, the um, maybe not the slippers, but the, um, like the summer stuff will go with the summer stuff. And then this is going to get gutted out and we're going to put shelving in here. I don't know how high we're going to go, but, because um, I don't know whether or not we're going to get rid of his stuff in here and put it over there so i'm trying to go through all that stuff back there i'm going to move that thing over a little bit more so i can push all that stuff over so if i can get that stuff to go over there then i want shelving all in this cabinet so that is what i want to do and then i'm trying to figure everything out down in this little area because i want something made under here but i came up with this idea this morning that we could put because i mean i'm i'm getting back my original um, ice chest. So I want to put it here and then I want to use this piece, gut it out, and then actually make a hutch utilizing the wood here. Because I asked Chris this morning, like, Chris, do you know how to do this? And he's like, yeah, I know how to do that. So I want to make a hutch over it so this thing will end up coming up and I'm just going to have a bunch of shelving and stuff. So I haven't quite decided. I may not even keep this thing. I might just reutilize that in some other way or not keep that thing at all and then just have a nice shelving thing and then use um, buckets and I could put all that stuff into buckets. No big deal. So we will see because that means I need to find a room for everything that's in there. So I don't know how to do this, but I definitely want a my my freezer back. If I can get my freezer back for free, I might as well. And she never used it. So it's like she's just been holding it for me. So um and I have a lot of other stuff here. So I'm trying to go through all this stuff in here, get things figured out, and then um and then I want to design something right here. So I want to have it in writing this time instead of me and Chris trying to figure something out. I want to actually figure out exactly what I want to do here. So by using that wood. Because see how these two pieces are really long? Well, these can be for the outside. And they can go straight up. 
and then we utilize the pieces of wood that's in here and all the whatevers, but then we can use other pieces of wood for the inside. So we have some stuff actually right in the car that would be perfect for this, for, for shelving. So, um, yeah, I think this would be a good idea. So I just want to have shelving going all the way to the ceiling. So I, I don't know how sturdy this thing could be, but let's see what we can come up with. So, um, I don't know if we need a baseboard and then put the thing inside it. Plus, there's no way for us to actually get the thing into that corner, but we will figure something out. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Got a lot of work to do, and I'll tell you what time it is right now. It is 11.20. All right, see you guys, guys. in a bit. Guys, listen, I took my house apart, and I'm putting it back together, as you're seeing, I need to just go to the store real quick because I gotta grab something for Chris so he can finish those clo the closet stuff in the in the closet. And um, I am tag teaming everything today. I can't even believe how much I've gotten done. So I oh my god, my back hurts so bad. I'm glad I didn't have that MRI. I gotta wait for a minute. Um, I'm glad that my MRI. I didn't end up getting that MRI that day because my back hurts and this is what it's from. So now they're going to see the new MRI after I got injured. I'm not going to tell them I got injured, but oh my God. I didn't really get injured. That's the thing. Like I didn't like pull my back out or anything like that. I just took one wrong step the other day and that's what's caused it. That's when I started getting the pain. So I don't know what happened, but... I've had to have Chris help me with a couple of things that were heavy, too heavy for me to lift, so. But, anyways, I am off to go get these things done. I'm going to go get some bins now for the uh, shoes and go through those too. And we're just going to just tag team for two days. Two days. i got two days to do as much as I can, so. See ya. When do I be ya? <laughs> All right, guys, let's see you later. Hey, guys, really quickly. So I'm actually behind the couch because I'm doing a bunch of stuff. I am cleaning behind my couch as well. And I was putting some ribbon up and stuff like that. So we are made this place a disaster. <laughs> so we are trying to undisaster it by cleaning every single thing. So right now I am taking my little handy-dandy vacuum. And we are going to vacuum underneath the couch. To what we can reach, really. Plus, I want to see if there's any crap underneath the couch, too. Couldn't believe what I was finding back here. So, let's get to it, guys. Hey, guys. So, it is after six. And it is time for Jaden to stop. <laughs> okay? Because Jaden can keep going. But Jaden needs to stop. Because it's time to settle in. I've been doing this since 8.30 this morning. And we're going to continue this tomorrow. So, I've been able to get a lot of stuff. Look. He put up two two more shelves for me. See? Awesome. It's a pain in the ass, but okay. And then now I can sleep on my bed. Yay. My back hurts so bad. I need to. <laughs> so that's why I was like, I didn't care how in pain I was of doing it. And then in here, I did. They see it. They're seeing me, just so you know. Um. So this needs to be cleaned. We're trying to gut this area out. And then I got the ribbon up with Chris's advice. Thank you very much, Christopher. <laughs> so yeah. And then on top of that, <laughs> I decided to gut out my cabinets and reorganize them. So I reorganized all the cabinets today. <laughs> Shut up. Don't make fun of me. All of them. Every single one. Even down here. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll stop making you nauseous. So anyways, I'm wrapping this video up tonight. Um, I will continue this tomorrow, the, the work in here. So I'll show you more of it. And I'm literally tearing the entire house apart. I mean, to clean behind the couch, like, come on, really? Most people don't do that. So I went ahead and did that anyways. I was behind there. I said, hey, oh, my God, look at all this. Okay, got to clean it. <laughs> so I gutted out a bunch of, like, boxes that were back there and threw those away. And I'm going to go do one last trash thing and call it a night, guys. 
All right, guys. So if you guys like today's video and yesterday to get into today together, if you guys like today's video, don't forget to like down below. Feel free to leave me any comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this motivates you to clean your home too and organize because it feels so good. And all the stuff that you are missing, you find. All right, guys. Have a good night. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like down below. Feel free to leave me comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys back here the next time. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow.